Hello my dear students I hope you all are fine so take out your book of social studies Today we are going to learn about chapter number 11 that is pollution In this chapter we will learn about meaning of pollution types of pollution there are basically four types of pollution air pollution water pollution land or soil pollution and noise pollution so the objectives of today's video are to know about the meaning of pollution to know about the meaning of air pollution to know about the causes effects and solutions of air pollution so let's discuss terms first first one is pollution means the action of making the air water etc dirty and dangerous the next one is air pollution means the action of making the air dirty and dangerous now students open page number 75 of your book let's start reading a place becomes polluted when some form of impurity is introduced into clean surroundings the word pollution is mostly used when environmental concepts like air water soil and land become very dirty now underline the word impurity means not pure next is surrounding means everything that is near or around you pollution is when natural things like air water land soil become dirty and impure that is called pollution in other words pollution is when impurities are added into natural things like air water soil land etc now let's read the next increasing population urbanization and industrialization are the main reasons for pollution today air pollution affects the air water pollution affects water and marine life land pollution affects the land by destroying life and the environment noise pollution can affect our hearing let us understand each of these now students underline the word population means the number of people live in a particular area next is urbanization means becoming more like a city next is industrialization means the development of industry on a large scale next marine means related or connected with sea next is destroying means to damage something so badly next environment means the condition in which you live work etc now the next word is hearing means the ability to hear We have discussed that there are basically four types of pollution and all the types of pollution are due to three main reasons. First is increasing population. Second urbanization. Third industrialization. Pollution by smoke of chimneys, vehicles decline the good quality of air drainage system of factories homes affect good quality of water and marine life you can see the picture where sea animals are dead because of water pollution the main reason for land pollution is increment in garbage on land it affects our life and environment too you can see the picture here and noise pollution affects our hearing 
So the first is air pollution. Air pollution means the action of making the air dirty and dangerous. Air pollution is caused both by nature and human activities. Forest fires, volcanic eruptions, wind erosion, pollen dispersal are all among the natural causes of air pollution. Now students, underline the word caused means to make something happened. Next is forest fire means a fire that spreads over a forest. Next is volcanic eruption means hot materials from the earth's interior are thrown out. Next is wind erosion means the damage of land as a result of wind removing soil from an area. Next is pollen dispersal means scattering of the male fertilizing agent of plant, trees, etc. There are basically two main reasons for air pollution. One is natural activities, the second one is human activities. Natural activities like forest fire, volcanic eruption, wind erosion, and pollen dispersal. In these activities, there is no interference of human. All these activities caused air pollution because these added unwanted material in air. Though some pollution comes from nature, most pollution is caused by human activities, factories, vehicles, busting firecrackers and smoke emitted by houses pollute the air and lead to health problems. Now students, underline the word emitted means send out. The big reason of air pollution is human activities. Smoke of factories, vehicles, firecrackers, houses, all these pollute the air and which ultimately gives us Number of health issues Trees recharge and clean up the atmosphere by taking in carbon dioxide and giving out oxygen while preparing food. But man-made factors have increased so much that even plants are affected now. Now students, underline the word atmosphere means a layer of gases surrounding our earth. Next is man-made means made by people. Trees inhale carbon dioxide and exhale oxygen and that oxygen is very good for us. But human activities raise pollution very much. Here you can see a picture where the leaves of a plant are damaged by air pollution. Air pollution can be controlled by afforestation by fixing filters in chimneys in factories to filter harmful substances and by reducing the burning of fuels, especially fossil fuels. Now students, underline the word afforestation means planting trees on an area of land in order to form a forest. Next is substance means a solid or liquid material. Next is reducing means to make something less or smaller. Next is fossil fuel means a natural fuel such as coal or oil that was formed millions of years ago. Air pollution can be checked or measured with AQI means Air Quality Index. This is a picture of AQI. It works like a thermometer and it runs from 0 to 500. There are number of ways by which we can prevent air pollution. First is afforestation means one should plant number of trees as many as 
possible. Next is by fixing filters in chimneys in factories. Next by reducing the burning of fuel, especially fossil fuel. Next, reducing number of trips you take in your car. Next is proper and regular service of engines of your vehicle because it will generate less smoke. Next is reduce the use of fireplace. I hope today's lesson is quite clear to you. So now your homework is read page number 75 and revise terms. You have to do exercise E which is given at page number 78. Do question number 1 and 2 in your copy. I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching.